What is going on guys? So today I bring you a new video and in this video I'm actually going to be showing you guys all of the mods actually on the new Chinese mythology map pack and basically the reason for doing this is because they actually look completely different and it's uh, surprising to see that all of the mobs actually have a different color and they look much nicer actually on the Chinese mythology pack. So let's get right into this. So what we're going to be doing is just going over to the eggs basically taking all of the ones from the top and and we're gonna spawn them up just to show you guys that they actually look pretty nice and what they actually look like on this texture pack. I was meaning to actually post this video yesterday because I was doing a lot of stuff in relation to this like title update 43 and as well as the uh, you know Chinese mythology map pack as well so Sorry that that didn't come out yesterday, and I actually wanted to meet this video for today. So let's get right into this. Today we're going to be spawning up the creeper, and as you guys can see, the creeper does have this very distinct, uh, different kind of color. It's kind of like a faded type of teal green, and uh, that's actually pretty nice in comparison to the actual like creeper. If you guys can see uh, what my skin looks like, it's not in comparison to this one, the look at the colors are completely different and uh, the egg should actually be a different color as well because that one doesn't come up more of a lime green, so it's more of like a washed out type of teal. So, we'll go on to the next one here, we have the skeleton, and the skeleton has this weird bandana type of thing on top of his head and the bones are actually covered by some type of, I think cloth or something, that he's wearing like this type of like clothing. Uh, on his on his body itself and you see that he has a different colored bow and arrow as well It's more of this, this red texture to keep intact with the Chinese mythology I don't know if you guys saw a bunch of the other stuff that I posted You know they like to use that yellow they like to use the red as well for their particular maps and this texture pack as well so, moving on to the next one here, we have the spider, and as you guys can see, the spider is completely different in color. It is completely, uh, more of like a tiger type of spider, so it's orange, and it has these, like, white and black, like, little lines on it as well. It's typically not the one that you usually see, and we'll move on to the next one. I actually do like how that looks in comparison to the black one that you guys would usually see. So, uh, let's go on to the next one. The next one is zombie. And, uh, the zombie is actually pretty disappointing, to be honest. It doesn't even look like a zombie. It looks like a World War II colonial, like, veteran or something trying to do roleplay. Not really World War II, but like, you know, uh, World War, you know, <laughs> like, I don't even know. Just like, it doesn't even look like a zombie, to be honest. It's pretty disappointing as far as the clothing goes. And as far as the character design itself is pretty disappointing. So, moving on to the next one here, we have the ghast. And I'm going to need to fly up a little bit before I do spawn this. is because he's actually going to try to get away. And I want to see actually what his face looks like. His face is actually a little dragon type of face. And uh, he keeps on trying to get away. I don't know exactly why. you getting away. Okay, so we've got to fly up to the top up here. And as you guys can see, he does look like one of those Chinese New Year's like uh, lamps that they have as well. And... Um, that they put on their lights and uh the face is actually a dragon in support of their like chinese new year or something i don't know exactly but he does look pretty nice and we'll move on to the next one so next one is the zombie pigman and this again is once again a zombie a pigman but it's very disappointing to see like i said the clothing is completely off and it really has no relation to being like a zombie pigman the face is not a pig and it is just a african-american version of the uh zombie and uh that's actually pretty weird that's pretty disappointing actually for this particular pack so we'll move on to the next one the next one is actually the enderman and as you guys can see he does look really nice a different type of neon uh green hands or neon teal or something like that and he has this like black body as well so this one is actually looking better than the actual regular enderman with the purple that he usually has but anyways this one like looks like it glows in the dark and stuff like that but then what we'll do is move on to the next one we'll have the cave spider and typically the cave spider i'm not exactly sure i think it is also the black color as well and um i can't remember off the top of my head the cave spider but anyways this one looks like a like venomous type of spider with that blue face and the uh back there as well and it's definitely different than what i've usually seen and that one's actually pretty nice as well so what we'll do is just to keep it going with the video we'll move on to the next ones which are the next uh set of just mobs and we'll go all the way to the front where we'll have the silverfish. The silverfish, for some reason, does look like a little bee. For some reason, that's really unusual. I can't, I can't imagine getting, 
like attacked by one of these and actually taking it seriously uh just remind me oh what are you gonna do you know basically sting me or something so that one is actually pretty cool as far as the design goes but uh, it's not very intimidating it doesn't really scare me like the regular silverfish is supposed to do but anyways moving on to the next one here we have the blaze and the blaze is actually looking pretty cool with that like i don't know what's wrong with his face it looks like like kind of a pig type of face and um Basically, it is red to keep intact. Like I said, the Chinese mythology always uses like red and yellow and white. And uh, that one actually looks pretty cool. The flames are typically like more of a yellowish color, and that one's actually pretty much orange. And uh, what we'll do is that one is pretty cool. So I'll move on to the next one, which we have the bat. And I wish that I can trap these in like stained glass that so you guys can actually see. But uh, the bat is actually looking pretty cool as well. It's keeping with this more like Halloween type of theme. I can see how people could use this. I, I wish I can trap that, to be honest. What we'll do is, uh, just for the sake of the video, I'll go inside of this house. Go inside of this house, and I'll close the door, and I'll spawn up a bunch of the bats so you guys can see what they look like. And uh, they actually look pretty cool. I like that the colors are, you know, once again, that orangish type of yellow. And I wish that they would just stay in place. They're always trying to get out. And, um... Let's just close that in, and uh, there you guys can see the, the actual face itself, and it's it's actually looking pretty cool. I could definitely see people using that uh, to make particular maps and stuff like that. So, what we'll do is we'll go on to the next one, which is the witch, and as you guys can see, it does not look like a witch. It looks like just a scary Asian lady that basically will, you know, come to your house and beat you with a spoon or something like that, and I don't know, she just looks really weird. I don't know, I'm just gonna hit you. And uh, let me see, what what uh, what does she do when you hit her? Oh, she begins to pull out her magic. What is that? Okay, so that's actually pretty cool itself. I don't know, it looks, keeping with the theme, it looks, it looks alright. Oh, we have the basic Undermite, and that one is actually uh, a different color. That's really the only gist of that one, just a different color. And uh, we'll move on to the next one. We have the Guardian, and as you guys can see, the Guardian really doesn't change in color. It's still looking that ugly color, and uh, it's really no difference, really no difference in comparison. But that's actually pretty disappointing. So moving on to the next one, we have the pig, and the pig is typically more of a pinkish color, of course, because it is a pig, but this mo more reminds me of, like, a hog that is actually inside of Minecraft, which is weird, which is really weird, so I, w I wish they would have re renamed that from pig to hog, because that looks actually like, you know, a hog would look in real life, and uh, what we'll do is move on to the next one, we have the sheep. And the sheep being usually, you know, that white color is actually covered in this dark brown. This actually looks pretty weird. So, I mean, not really weird, but definitely different. And uh, what we'll do is just move on to the next one. And so what I'm going to do is, let's see, where did we stop off? We stopped off on the sheep. And what we'll do is we'll spawn up the rest of them on that list. And we have actually one more list after that. He's these uh, ones that are on the second page. And what we'll do is just spawn up the cow. And I actually like how this cow looks just because I like that design on the back as well. And uh, the face could maybe use some work and um, maybe just make it more like a cow. It kind of looks like the face is falling apart. But uh, I do like the design on the back and on the top of the head as well. And probably one of my most favorite ones on this texture pack is actually the chicken. And the reason for that is because look at this amazing color that they decided to put on the chicken. I know that the chicken is part of their culture. I know that they have this like Chinese New Year where each animal is represented by the age of which you're born or something like that i know that there's like a dragon uh a chicken like a mule and stuff like that so i do like how this actually looks and that is probably one of my most favorite ones on this particular mashup pack or texture pack and what we'll do is move on to the next one here we have the squid and as you guys can see the squid is usually more of a bluish type of grayish color and this keeping up with this theme they decided to change the color to this reddish pinkish color and i actually do like this one as well so that is pretty nice and hopefully he just dies soon and uh, what we'll do is move on to the next one the next one we have here is actually the wolf, and as you guys can see, the wolf is definitely looking pretty nice as well, keeping up with that orange, 
white and yellow and black type of you know color that all these you know particular mobs they have a tendency to use same with the spider so they're in comparison to the spider as you guys can see over there it's pretty similar and i do like how actually this looks and what we'll do is move on to the next one we have the moosh room which really makes no changes um itself the colors are still roughly the same with that red and uh, what we'll do is just move on to the next one so next one is the Ocelot, and uh, unfortunately this one tries to get away from you right away. So what I'll actually have to do is just go inside of one of these houses and spawn up a bunch of the Ocelots, and they'll start having, you know, babies and stuff like that. And you guys can see what the colors look like, and they actually look pretty nice in comparison to the regular, like, yellow that you guys would see the, the regular Ocelots have. And uh, what we'll do is actually just move on to the next one. Oh my god, they're all going to try to get out. And I actually accidentally spawned up a horse, and... So the next one is actually the horse. So the horse has a tendency to have all these different type of textures on there. So I'm going to spawn up a bunch of them just to show you guys what the possibilities are. You got this blue one that looks pretty nice. Kind of reminds me of Mulan for some reason. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But anyways, there's a couple of other ones with different type of backs and different types of, you know, saddles and stuff like that. And this one is just pretty plain. So you get to get hit because you're so boring. And what we'll do is we'll go over here. To the next one will spawn up a bunch of the donkeys which are roughly all of the same there's really nothing like the horse where it doesn't change or anything like that so all the donkeys are the same and then for the very last line of these particular mobs we have here is the mule which i already spawned up what am i talking about so the rabbit which is pretty much the same in comparison to the regular rabbits that are not on this particular texture pack and uh, we'll spawn up the next thing which is the polar bear and as you guys can see it is not a polar bear it's actually a panda and that is actually pretty cool to see on this particular texture pack a different panda like looking polar bear and that's actually pretty cool. So the very last mob that is actually on this particular texture pack that is going to wrap up this video is actually the villager. And the villager has a tendency to have all of these different types of clothes. Uh, like based on the actual villager itself, they can be, you know, if you try to trade with them, they'll actually tell you like what they are. Like librarian, this one is armor, and the other one is cleric, and the other one, oh, let's see what this guy is over here, another cleric, and a librarian. And basically based on their actual job themselves leather worker actually looks pretty nice so look at his face looks like a troll face and um just based on that that'll actually be the it for this video if you guys did enjoy this go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos as i'm going to be posting plenty more minecraft content but i'm sorry that this video is pretty lengthy i really wanted to show you guys all of the mobs that uh, are on this particular texture pack but that is really about it for this episode if you guys did enjoy go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and i'll see you guys in the next one all right Peace.